it's like in any any sport or anything that anyone's at a top level, and they have to practice and put in time and really analyze everything that they're doing. So it's just, it's just like anything else, um, mm. you know, basketball, golf, soccer. I mean, all the all the best players are they're the ones that are putting in the work and practicing the most. You, you find those successful ones, you know, top players. They 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 really do put a lot of hours to improve their games, to analyze what they have done wrong in certain hands. Those are the traits of a, a good player. You know, they, they never stop improving. It's like when you've played so much and you play for so many years, it's really difficult to get a huge thrill. I mean, of course, if you're beat, beating someone that you're close with, whatever, you beat them a nice, a, a big pot, it's kind of fun. Like if I beat Paul a big pot, it's kind of fun, you know, or he beats me a big pot, it's like kind of, you know, it's like, ha ha. Yeah. You know, but, you know, but the actual thrill of like, you know, oh wow, betting a lot of money, I, that's not really there for me. I don't really feel that. Um, I haven't felt that in quite some time, actually. I, I don't feel like it's a job because I enjoy playing poker. You know, I enjoy sitting down playing cards, so I don't look at it like I'm going to work. I never, I, I don't feel like that. I, you know, because I love doing, I love doing what I do. Like some players, you see, after six years, seven years, they begin to to take a back seat. You know, don't play so many tournaments, cash games, even. For me, I've uh, been playing for like seven years. Uh, the sense of wanting to play is still there, but maybe not as much as in the beginning. You play any game, even one dollar, two dollars, I play. <laughs> you know, uh, but not nowadays. You know. Those days, maybe it's more about still learning the game, want to play more to improve. Yeah, no matter what the stakes are. One thing about poker, was unlike a lot of other sports, is that you, you're going to lose. There's no way around it. You're going to have bad days. There's just no way around it. And you're going to have, sometimes you're going to have bad weeks. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you have to get used to it. You have to get used to these swings and uh, be set that, you know, all you could do is Put in your best effort and play your best and you know do the best you can and you know sometimes you're just going to have to accept that you're going to lose you want to put your ego aside and just say you know what i'm just not playing my best right now it's time to just take a walk mm -hmm. i think even more so with the short deck game you know you can lose seven or eight flips in a row you know yeah it's, it's not uncommon then you realize maybe i should just quit and come back tomorrow. Well, once you get to a certain level, you're playing against the best players in the world. You know, that's what makes Paul so amazing is that he, start, he started off playing against some of the best players in the world, and now he's playing in games constantly with the best players in the world. And he's winning in those games. You know, that's just really is amazing. He's figured out a way to win. And that's difficult. Even sometimes you may be the third or fourth best player in the game or second best player in the game or whatever, you, you have to figure out ways to win. And that comes from, you know, being able to not play bad when you're losing or, you know, and being able to manage. And I think that's the most important thing. <laughs>